Hi friends, thank you so much for clicking this video. My name is Heather Chesina and you are welcome. So today is the 15th of August of 2022 and I feel as if the summer has just flown by. I usually record my videos beforehand so I feel as if I'm a bit rusty. I hope it doesn't show through. <laughs> My lighting appears a bit off so anyway I, I don't have time to fix it we'll just go as is this video will go out next week on the 22nd so it's literally a real-time video according to me so I just came back from vacation I've just had a lovely summer it's been busy but it's been a lovely summer we went as a family to North Carolina, to the Outer Banks. It's so pretty. This is the second year we've gone there. It's been awesome. The weather there was 105 degrees. So that's roughly 43 degrees Celsius. And one thing that I would note is the fact that it is dry. Actually, the time that we were there, it was not humid. It was just dry 105 degree heat it was not kind to my skin what i like about the dc area is it's humid which some people don't like but for me i feel as if it's kinder to the skin and i have actually gotten away from using sunscreen for so many years i started using sunscreen like last year and i think it's because of just the humidity has been kinder so I've not had issues uh, so use your sunscreen I'm not telling you not <laughs> but in any case when I went down there oh my goodness the heat was just a mess I wasn't moisturizing well so I came back and I was literally peeling I've learned my lesson I should have I should have done a better job with moisturizing and then putting on sunscreen but i was just putting on the sunscreen so yeah my skin really suffered but yeah i am back and i'm excited i really enjoyed my summer but this particular video i want to discuss what happened right before i went on vacation so i had written a post on my blog about shortcuts and I just remember right before taking the vacation, I was thinking, okay, when I come back, this is the first video that I need to record because it's just in my heart. And I really want to talk about it, about taking shortcuts. So literally three days before the vacation, my kids were in summer camp and, <laughs> and I was in this stretch of road that people usually speed on. Sometimes people go five over or 10 over. It's not a residential area, it's just, yeah, it's not a residential area. But for me, I am like driving Miss Daisy. I drive so slow. I drive like a grandma. I'm always right at the speed limit or a bit under. I obey the rules as far as traffic but this time I had a short window of time to basically go down my to-do list and get everything that's needed before we go on vacation so I was in this stretch of road and I was trying to buy some time I was trying to get on the other side of town so I looked at the road and it was empty it was just a straight shot and I had this voice and this voice said, just step on the gas. You'll be fine. Everyone does it. Hey, everyone does it. Just step on the gas, get past the light, and then you don't have to stop for an extra few minutes. So this was the first time that I was like, okay, I'll just step on the gas a little bit <laughs> and then go past the light. So I just, it was not even one or two or three seconds. Cause I mean, guys, I'm, I, I don't like speeding. So in any case, it was just, okay, pumped the accelerator or pressed it. And then as, 
As I was coming close to the light, guess who I saw? I saw a police officer with a speedometer and <laughs> and then he hopped into the car and got right behind me and I was like, okay, am I being pulled over? No, I'm not being pulled over. I've never been pulled over in my life. But again, I was like, okay, but I was speeding. But I was like, okay, act cool, act cool, act cool. So <laughs> as soon as the lights turned, I went, you know, I'm trying to be innocent and everything. And then I saw the flashing lights. And of course I stopped. I wasn't panicking or anything because I know I did something wrong. So I was really peaceful. So I waited for him to come over. He said hello to me and I said hi to him. I was really calm. And then he told me something to the effect of, did you know you were speeding or whatever? But in any case, I just, Confessed, oh, officer, I am so sorry. I know I was speeding. I am so sorry. I know I was speeding. I'm so sorry for wasting your time. And sometimes when I talk, I get a bit animated. So you could tell like he was, I don't know. I'm kind of animated. So anyway, he was like, okay. <laughs> Let me go and run your driver's license or whatever. He was asking me for registration and I did not know where those things were. Officer, I, I don't even know where those things are. Like I have to, I, look, I was searching. <laughs> So in, in any case, I gave him the stuff because it took me a second. Okay, registration, what is that? Yeah, so anyway, got, I gave him the stuff and he went and then he came back. Then he showed me how fast I was speeding. He showed me the odometer. Oh my God, <laughs> I didn't know that I was going that fast. He was like, honestly, it wasn't, it's not bad. I'm just going to let you off with a warning. Cause he had asked me, okay, where are you going? I told him I was so candid and I was just waiting for him to slap me with a fine. But of course this, I mean, I've never been pulled over. I have a clean record. So he came back and he said, okay, I'm letting you off with a warning. And I was like, thank you so much officer. Thank you. Cause I mean, guys, it would have just changed the whole vacation vibes if I got a ticket. So he just said, I'm giving you a warning. So just be careful. And I was like, officer, you don't need to tell me again. I hear you. I'm so sorry. And thank you so much. And yeah. So in any case, that is the analogy that I'll be using <laughs> to discuss about shortcuts. So often in life, there is this temptation to take that shortcut to speed up to your destination, to where your purpose is, to where your destiny is, to your end goal. There is that temptation. You might see everyone else, just like me, I've always seen people speeding, they've never been caught. So people will take shortcuts all the time, they're never caught, and then the day that you decide to take that shortcut or speed up the process, without God being in it, guess what happens? You get pulled over. You get pulled over by the purpose police. <laughs> so here are the dangers of taking shortcuts. You miss out on the joy of the journey. You know, you have to take your time to savor the moment, to look outside and enjoy the views. Just take the time, don't speed up the process. Just don't miss on the joy of the journey because once you get to your destination, you look back and you savor on the moments, you have lots of stories to tell, lots of lessons to tell other people once you are on the point of victory. So you'll have lots of stories to tell people to encourage them. Um, another danger of speed, of, of speed, <laughs> another danger of taking shortcuts is you might not reach your destination. Of course, you may be taking some risks, that will cost you. So you have to be aware of that. Of course, you can get hurt, right? That's self-explanatory. You could damage your reputation. Some people take some crazy shortcuts, especially in social media or YouTube, to be able to get recognized. Yes, sometimes people pull in their significant others or their spouses, people who 
do not want to be in the limelight. Like, like for me, let me talk about my situation. I do not bring my family members on here. I don't bring my mom. I don't bring my sisters. I don't bring my kids on here. But sometimes people want to see that because I mean, people are curious, right? So people want to see that and you sometimes get rewarded for oversharing and overexposing yourself. For me, I know that's not the kind of platform that God wants me to build. So it's I feel as if I'm kind of taking the the road less traveled because it's just me. <laughs> it's just me in this dynamic. But hey, this is what God wants me. This is the route that God wants me to take. He called me for that purpose, not my friends. So I need to respect their privacy. Yeah, so you don't want to damage your reputation and do crazy stuff just for views, right? Another thing is that you might not learn anything. Yes, if you take a shortcut, you won't learn anything. And guess what? As the world has it, you have to redo the test again because you did not learn anything. You have to go through it, okay? You could miss important details, right? And then also you could end up regretting it. So for me, I feel as if that was a perfect lesson when I got pulled over because of course I ended up wasting extra 10 minutes because I was pulled over. Of course, you know, I just thank God for the grace that I got off with just uh, a slap on the wrist. But I feel as if it was such a great lesson because I was in a season where I was like, man, I'm tempted to take some, like, you know, sometimes you're really tempted. You see other people taking shortcuts and it's working for them. But for you, since you have a kingdom assignment, trust me, most of the time it will not work because the enemy will try to use any loophole. Trust me. If you have a kingdom assignment, the enemy will try to use any loophole to accuse you. It's called the accuser of the brethren for a reason. So guys, even if you see other people taking shortcuts, guys, you do not know what's happening be behind closed doors. You do not know what will happen two years from now, three years from now. So you need to trust the process, ensure that God is in it. Ensure that God is in it. So yes, that's what I wanted to share. I will include that particular post the description in the description box if you want to read it because it's so lovely and that's it for now thank you so much for clicking this video i really appreciate it and guess what i will see you on the next one